And once again, we are streaming live tonight. You can check us out on Team USA. It's like Watch Live, Facebook Live. Everybody's alive. I'm sort of alive. Zach's alive. Once again, we are streaming live tonight. Alrighty, everybody, we're about 10 minutes out from our first competitive sled and five minutes out from our forerunner sleds. Once again, this is the fourth and final race for Team USA Skeletons National Team Trials. We're going to have the men up first, followed by the ladies, and then followed by Team Israel, also doing one final selection race before they send some guys out on tour. Once again, your start order will be the three forerunners of Quasi Chris and Dan. And then we'll have your men's field of Greg, John, Matt, Kyle Brown, Mike Rogel, Steve, Alex, Austin Florian, Austin McCrary, Mike Brandt, Kyle Tress, Jake, Andrew, Allen, Max, and Jimmy. And then short break before we have the women's field of Katie, Kendall, Savannah, Meg Henry, Annie, Gracie, Veronica, Sam, Kelly Delka, Kelly Curtis, Morgan, Leslie, Meg Dovell, Michelle, and Kristen. And for Israel, their start order will be Adam A.J. Edelman, Larry Sidney, and Joel Seligstein. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We had a very competitive field last night. It's pretty much the same field tonight. So everybody pay close attention. The top six was fairly close. The top three was very close last night. Daly just pulled away with a very good combined downtime of 151-13 last night. Meanwhile, Katie Ulander 
She was top of the pile for the ladies with a 154.49. So everybody's chasing the veterans right now. Everybody is trying to chase down the veterans. Currently, Greg West, Daly, and Matt Antoine are the top three of the men's combined field after three races, while Katie Ulander, Kendall Wessenberg, and Savannah Graybill are top of the field for the women's combined race results. So stand by, everybody. Just about three minutes to the forerunner sleds. Three-minute warning to Quasi. Just under two minutes to Quasi. Two minute warning to Quasi from Pong. Just under a minute to Quasi, one minute to Quasi, one minute to the first forerunner sled. Alrighty, everybody, we are ready to start. First up, we got our first forerunner sled. This is Quasi. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Quasi from Pong. Slide and track, slide and track from start one. This is Quasi from Pong. He's sliding for Ghana, but he's pretty much part of our home team here as he slides in the curve one. Four, nine, eight start time. It's one of Quasi's fastest starts. He's setting the pace for the four runners, testing the track out as he slides into curve four, white face. Into the Devil's Highway. Once again, this is Quasi from Pong. Last year was his first full season training and touring. And this year he's going to do it again, hoping to make the Olympics, representing the African continent. As he exits 10 into 11, sliding through 12, Quasi is our first forerunner sled. That's a good 12 for Quasi as he slides 13 and 14. Sometimes he just uh, goes on one runner through there as he slides to the chicane into 17. 
Quasi's climbing up 18, coming around 19. This is a good run for him as he comes up and crosses the finish. It's going to be a downtime of 57.35. That's a 5.735 downtime. I think that's Quasi's fastest time on this track. Our second four runner, Chris Strupp, stand by. Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for our second four runner, Chris. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Chris Strupp. He's our second forerunner sled. He's heading into curve one with a start time of 488. That's a 488 start time for Chris. Sliding through cliffside. Once again, this is our second forerunner sled. We're going to have Dan, and then we'll have the men's competitive field for race number four. This is the final selection race for Team USA Skeleton. Top six will more or less make up your World Cup and Intercontinental Cup field. But we got spots on North American Cup Tour and European Cup up for grabs. So there is a lot to race for tonight through 11 in the 12. This is Chris. He's also laying down a good run. A little late off of 12. He'll be all right. 13 in the 14. 488. Chris Strupp. We <laughs> Taking some tape off as he slides through the chicane. Chris is a very fast starter. Climbing up 18. Coming around 19. And Mr. Strupp, crossing the finish, 57.28. It's a 5.728 downtime for Chris. Dan, stand by. All righty, everybody, attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Dan Barefoot. So in track, sledding track from start one. This is Daniel Barefoot. Where's Barry as he heads into curve one? A little tap there. Four, ugh, five, zero, three is his start. That's a five, zero, three start for our third and final four runner before we get into the men's competitive field for run number one tonight. Through curve four, Whiteface. Sliding the Devil's Highway, Dan Barefoot. Came out of the Devo program last year. He'll be around again this year. Him and Chris, two very good starters for the men's Devo skeleton team as he slides through curve 10, Shady 2. Uh-oh, eh, he's all right. Sliding through 11, 12, 13. Did a little wall ride there. Get some style points. Doesn't add to your time or subtracts from your time, but it looks fun. Through the chicane in the 17. This is Dan. Hey, coming around 18, coming around 19, and Daniel is going to be coming up. So, uh, crossing the finish, 5785 is his downtime. We're going to have to send another forerunner or two here. We got to check the drive line. So, once again, be a slight hold as we wait for our forerunners to get back up there so we can uh, redo some drive lines. So once again, we're on a slight hold. We're going to send the four runners again after we clean up some drive lines, and then we will jump into the men's field.
All righty, Quasi, let's go again. All right, everybody, attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Quasi. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Quasi from Pong. Once again, he's testing out the drive lines, sliding into curve one. Five, two, four, start time for Quasi. This is uh, the forerunners of Glenn. Once again, again, forerunners. Heading in to curve four, white face. This is Quasi. Probably going to send Dan again. Through. Through eight, nine, into curve 10. This is Quasi. Once again, these are four runner sleds. We are not into the competitive field quite yet. Through 13, 14, into the chicane. Oh, Quasi. Sliding 17. Climbing up 18. Oh, boy, Quasi. There's a little Tokyo drifting through 18 in the 19. He's going to be crossing the finish. 10080. It's 10080. Downtime for Quaz. We're going to have Dan go here. Finish, guys. Please help Quasi out a little there. Alrighty, everybody, we're going to send Dan. We're going to send another forerunner sled here. Just give my camera a moment to catch up with me. Eh. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Dan. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Dan Barefoot. This is another forerunner sled. Seeing what we got going with the drive lines here. See heads into curve one. No. Nope. Sliding through cliffside. Through curve four, white face, damn barefoot. Through eight nine into curve ten, shady two. Through 11 and 12, 13 into 14, sliding the chicane into 17. Probably going to need one more forerunner here. We're getting there. 
Climbing up 18, coming around 19. This is Dan. And Dan crossed the finish there, 58-3-3. So once again, take one more look at those lines, and we'll probably send one more forerunner. So stand by, everybody. Okay, everybody, we're going to be sending Chris here. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Chris. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Chris Strupp. All right. I think we might almost have it as he slides through curve one. It's a five, six, six. Through cliffside. Into curve four, white face. So once again, coaches are giving the all clear. So after Chris here, we're going to have, hey, that runs. After Chris, sliding into curve 10, shady two, we're going to have our men's competitive field. So once again, after Chris, we'll get ready for Greg. Sliding through 12. Chris doing a little safety slide through 12, 13 in the 14. I don't know if it's the official term, and I don't care. Sliding the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And our final four runner sled is crossing the finish, 59-6-3. Greg, stand by. All righty, everybody. First competitive sled for the men. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Greg West. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Greg West. He's currently the overall leader for the men's field as we slide into curve one. Start time of 498. That's a 498 start time for Greg as he slides through cliffside. Greg West is currently the overall leader. Sliding through curve four, white face. Greg has had a phenomenal start to this season. He dominated in Calgary, winning both races. Sliding through eight, nine, into curve 10. He's got a good run here as he slides through curve 10, shady two. Through 12, 13, into 14, sliding the chicane. Greg was third last night, right behind Antoine and Daly, sliding 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Greg West is going to be setting the pace. Downtime of 54, 9 0. That's a 5 4 9 0. That is a fast, really fast start. Start us off tonight, John Daly, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for John Daly. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is John Daly. He's a two-time Olympian as he slides through curve one. He's got a 4.99 start, so he's going to be right there with Greg as he slides through cliffside. Pretty much neck and neck. We'll see what Daly does. He won last night, came back last year, came back strong, worked his way right up into the world championship field as he slides into the Devil's Highway. He's got a little bit of an edge as he slides the highway through 8, 9, into curve 10, shady 2. Once again, John Daly out of 10, into 11. He's got a 10th to work with. He's laying down a good run. Through 13 into 14, 210. So, oh boy, he's pulling away. Greg laid down a burner, but John Daly uh, has got the, the extinguisher out, I guess. Sliding through 17, climbing up 18, coming around 19. Still got three tenths. What? What is going on? He's got the Jets crossing the finish. 54, 4, 4. Hey, now. That's a 5, 4, 4, 4 downtime for John Daly. Jumping up in the first. Matt Antoine, stand by.
Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Matt Antoine. Slide in track, slide in track from start one. This is Matt Antoine. He is your Sochi Olympian. Sliding through curve one. He's got a 4.89 start time. Whoa, Matt. That's a fast start for Matt Antoine. Sliding through cliffside. He turned it on there. I'm going to say turned it on a lot tonight. I'm sorry. Through curve four, white face. Matt Antoine, once again, he's got a full tenth to work with. John Daly and Greg West laid down really good runs. Daly currently in first through 8.9 into curve 10. Matt Antoine, two tenths to work with. Sheesh. Out of 10, into 11, a little bump there. Came out of 10 a little early through 12. Still got two tenths, though. 13 into 14. Uh-oh. Dropped a little there. He's bouncing. Into 17. He's now neck and neck with Daly, but he's losing speed through 18. Coming around 19. Yeah, that cost him. That exit the, into the chicane was not good. Crossing the finish in the second, though. 54-82. That's a 5-4-8-2 downtime for Matt Antoine. Currently in second. Kyle Brown, standby. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two start one for Kyle Brown. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kyle Brown, currently sitting fourth. He's heading into curve one. Four, nine, three start time. Blazing starts tonight. These guys are warmed up despite the cooler temperatures as he slides through cliffside. It's not that cold for up here, but it's more pleasant than what we've had lately. It's been too warm. Sliding through curve four. Kyle's got a tenth to work with. He's chasing down daily. Antoine and West currently in that order through the Devil's Highway. Still got that tenth. So he's through 8-9 into curve 10, shady 2. It's whittling away a little here. Let's see if he has a better exit of 10. Solid. Through 11-12, 13 into 14. 14 seems to be the trouble curve right now for everybody as he's out of 14. Not bad. Through the chicane, just a little bit back at daily as he heads into 17. He's got a half a tenth, official term. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. Lost a little on that exit of 17 as he comes around, crosses the finish into second place. Kyle Brown, second place with a 54, 6-6 six, six downtime. Still chasing John Daly, everybody. Mike Rogles, stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Mike Rogles. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Mike Rogles. He's getting there, heading into curve one. Five zero nine start time for Mike. Not as good a start as the previous four. Mike slides Lake Placid well as he slides through cliffside. Everybody's chasing John Daly currently in first place with a really good solid early season run of 54-4-4 through curve four whiteface. Mike Rogles, he's two tenths off the pace as he slides the highway. The highway of the devils, the devil's highway through eight nine. In the curve 10, shady 2. Out of 10, into 11. Mike Rogles through 12. Still three tenths off the pace as he slides 13 into 14. He's into the chicane, sliding 17, falling behind a little. As he comes around 17, 18, and 19. He'll be about five tenths off the pace as he crosses a finish. Currently sitting fifth with a 54.99. That's a 5.499 downtime for Mike Rogles. Steve Garbett, stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Steve Garbett.
So let in track, so let in track from start one. This is Steve Garbett, currently sitting six overall as he heads into curve one. He's got a 5.06 start time. That's a 5.06 start time for Steve. Currently sliding through cliffside. Currently everybody's chasing John Daly. John Daly laid down a burner of 5.444. Four, four, four. Kyle Brown in second. Matt Antoine in third. Greg West in fourth. Mike Rogles is sitting five through eight, nine into curve 10. Steve Garbett, two tenths off the pace as he heads into Shady Two. Now three tenths. Out of 10, into 11, sliding 12, 13, into 14. He's out of the bend, sliding the chicane in the 17. Good exit there. We got some good speed tonight, nearly 72 miles per hour on the speed meter. Where you are, John Morgan? Look at the speed as Steve Garbett crosses the finish into fifth place with a 54.96. 54.96 downtime for Steve. Alex Ivanov, standby. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish to start one for Alex Ivanov. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Alex Ivanov, currently sitting seventh overall in the team standings as he slides through curve one. Four, nine, two, really good start. Fastest start so far tonight. Alex Ivanov with a 4.92 start time. That's going to give him a good pace to work with. Got to be better as he heads into four, though. He's only got that tenth to work with as he slides into the Devil's Highway. He's already losing a little speed. Slides through. 7.89 into curve 10. Shady 2, once again, tenth off of Daly's pace as he heads through 10. Out of 10, into the Labyrinth. It's not that confusing. It's only about three and a half curves, but that people figured out. Through 12, 13, into 14. Out of the bend, into the chicane, falling off the pace there. Sliding 17, climbing up 18. Alex Ivanov is coming around 19, crossing that skelly finish. Downtime of 55-2-3. That keeps him seventh overall. 55-2-3 downtime for Alex Ivanov. Austin Florian, stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Austin Florian. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Austin Florian. He's heading into curve one. Start time of 486. Hey, Oz, that's fast. 486, fastest start time tonight for Austin Florian. Let's see if he's got the sliding to match as he slides through cliffside. Before him, we get Alex Ivanov with a 55-2-3 downtime for a seventh place ranking. Through curve four, Austin Florian into the Devil's Highway. Austin still has a tenth to work with. Let's see if he can keep it as he slides through 8-9 into curve 10. He didn't. It's through 10. Falling behind a little as he exits 10 into 11th. It's about a tenth off the pace, though. Still a really good run for Austin here. 13 in the 14. Falling behind a little, losing some speed as he slides the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And Austin Florian is going to be coming up, crossing the finish. 55 1 9. That's a 5 5 1 9. Downtime for Austin. That jumps him ahead of Alex Ivanov for a seventh place result overall for run number one. Austin McCrary, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Austin McCrary. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Austin McCrary. Sliding into curve one, he's got a 5-1-6 start time. It's a 5 one six start time for Austin McCrary as he slides through cliffside. Currently, everybody's chasing John Daly. Laying down another great run tonight as he with a 54-4-4 first place run for run number one. Once again, this is run number one. Did I say one? A lot? 
from that last sentence, probably sliding through seven, eight, nine. Austin McCrary is about three tenths off the place. He was laid off a three that cost him some speed. It's all about speed with Skeleton. Through 11, 12, speed, clean lines. And trying not to drive too much. Through 14, into the chicane. Best sliders find that line and stay on it like glue. Not literally. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And Austin McCrary is going to be crossing the skelly finish. 55-2-3 downtime. That's a 5-5-2-3 downtime for Austin McCrary. Currently sitting eighth. We're going to have Mike Brandt. Stand by. Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two start one for Mike Brandt. Slut and track, slut and track from start one. This is Mike Brandt currently heading into curve one. He's going to have a start time of 507. It's a 507 start for Mike Brandt. Sliding through cliffside. Everybody's chasing John Daly. Not because of the hair, not because of his, you know, charming personality. It's because he's got a first place downtime of 54.44. Sliding through curve four. Mike Brandt into the Devil's Highway. Before him, we had Austin McCrary, who's actually tied for eighth with Alex Ivanov with a 55.23 downtime through eight nine. Into curve ten. Mike Brandt. Did I mentioned this is Mike Brandt. Out of ten. Almost. Into eleven. Eight tenths off the pace as he's through 12, 13, into 14. Through the chicane, catching a little air as he heads into the chicane, into 17 now. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And crossing the finish, 55, 8, 1. That's a 5, 5, 8, 1 downtime for Mike Brandt. We're going to have Kyle Tress stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Kyle Tress. Slide and track, slide and track from start one. This is Kyle Tress sliding through curve one. He's got a 5-1-8 start time. Kyle is a Sochi Olympian. He's been involved with the sport for a long time. He's got two more runs left in him here as he slides through curve four, white face. Sliding through the Devil's Highway. Through eight, nine, into curve 10, shady two. Six tenths off the pace as Kyle Tress slides through 11 in the 12. Before him, we had Mike Brandt with a 55, eight, one down time, but Kyle Tress. Sliding a little better as he slides through the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Kyle Tress. It's going to be crossing the finish, 55-7-0. That pops him up in the 10th. 10th place ranking for Kyle Tress. Sliding up the finish out run, Jake Miter, stand by. Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Jake Miter. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Jake Miter currently heading into curve one. He's got a start time of 5 1 1. That's a 5 1 1 start time for Jake Miter. Sliding through Cliffside. Currently, for run number one, we have John Daly in first place with a 54.44. Kyle Brown in second with a 54.66. And Matt Antoine in third with a 54.82. Jake Miter is sliding the Devil's Highway. He's three tenths off the pace. Solid through the highway through 8.9. Let's see if he can gain some time back as he heads in the 10. No, he doesn't. He's five tenths off. Through 11. 
In the 12, sliding 13, in the 14. Out of the bend, sliding the chicane, in the 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And Jake crossing the finish, 55, 4, 7. That's a 5, 5, 4, 7 down time for Jake Miter. That jumps him up into 10th place overall. Once again, 55, 4, 7 for Jake, 10th place overall. Andrew Blazer, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Andrew. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Andrew Blazer. We're fixing that camera tomorrow. We got a new one. Sliding through curve one, five, zero, three. It's a five, zero, three start time for Andrew Blazer. Through cliffside. Sliding through curve four, white face. Once again, this is Andrew Blazer. Is he blazing a path through the Devil's Highway? Sort of. Through six, seven, eight. Nine into curve 10. Andrew's about six tenths off the pace as he slides through 10. Through 12, 13. Oh, Zach, it's a long season. We have plenty of time to make those puns. Don't you worry, buddy, as he slides the chicane into 17. I say most of the puns for the slower experiences, but not tonight. Through 18, climbing up 19. Who am I kidding? There'll be plenty more. <laughs> Stand by. Andrew Blazer is crossing the finish, 56-5-8. Has him still sitting 13th overall. Andrew Blazer, 5-6, 5-8 downtime. Alan Blackwell, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish to start one for Alan Blackwell. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Alan, Alan Blackwell. Got to say it like that. In the curve one, he's got to start time up. Five, two, three. It's a five, two, three start time for Alan Blackwell as he slides through cliffside. Now into three and four. The curves are numbered in order. That's about it. Sliding through the Devil's Highway. Alan Blackwell through eight, nine into curve 10. He's five tenths off the pace as he heads through Shady Two. This is curve 10 into 11. Navigating the labyrinth now through 12. He's got his compass out, so he's doing all right. Through 13 into 14. Sliding the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Alan Blackwell is going to be crossing the finish. 56-2-5, pops him up into 13th place ranking. 5-6-2-5, downtime for Alan Blackwell. Max Delance, stand by. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Max Delance. Or no, sorry. Attention, clear track. Track's now clear from the finish. Two start one for Max. Now we're sled and track. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Max Delance sliding into curve one. Sliding through cliffside. Max Delance, everybody. 505 was the start. That's a good start for Max as he heads into curve four, white face. Sliding the Devil's Highway. This is Max Delance. He did get beyond Thunderdome, and his family told us on Facebook that he's from uh, San Jose. So that's pretty good. Now we're navigating the Fury Road. That's even better. Out of curve 10, Max Delance. Seven tenths off the pace as he navigates 12, 13, into 14. Sliding the chicane into 17.
Sliding 18, 19, crossing the finish, 56, 2, 1. That's a 5, 6, 2, 1 downtime for Max. Jimmy Nguyen, stand by. Alrighty, everybody, attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Jimmy Nguyen. So let in track, sled in track from start one. This is Jimmy Nguyen. He is the final slider for the men's first run here. After Jimmy, we will have the ladies. And then Israel sliding through cliffside. Jimmy Nguyen, he had a 5-1-0 start time. Sliding through curve four, white face. Max Delance, you jumped up in the 13th with a 56-2-1 down time. Jimmy is through the Devil's Highway, sliding through eight, nine, and the curve 10, shady two. Out of 10, into 11. Sliding 12. Whoa, 13 in the 14. Hung around on 12 for too long, but he's all right. As he heads into the chicane. Sliding 17. Climbing up 18. Coming around 19. And Jimmy Nguyen is crossing the finish. 56.99. Keeps him ranked 16. 56.99 downtime for Jimmy Nguyen. We're going to have Katie stand by. It's going to be about two minutes to Katie. Two minutes to Katie. All righty, everybody, we are ready for the first sled of our women's first heat for tonight. First up, we got Katie Ulander. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Katie Ulander. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Katie Ulander. She's one of our most experienced athletes tonight. Setting into curve one. Five, four, one start time for Katie U. She's a three-time Olympian as she slides through cliffside. Katie Ulander is going to try and maintain her lead as she sets the pace. Heading into curve four, white face. She finished top of the board tomorrow. Well, last night. Not going tomorrow quite yet. Last night, Katie Ulander was number one. She slides through 8-9 into curve 10, shady 2. Now sliding through 11 into 12. After the men's first heat, we have John Daly in first. Kyle Brown in second. And Matt Antoine in third. Katie Ulander, meanwhile, nearly 70 miles an hour. She exits 14 through the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. 
And KDU is crossing the finish, 56-5-5. Setting the pace with a 56-5-5 downtime. Kendall Wessenberg, stand by. Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Kendall Wessenberg. Slide and track, slide and track from start one. This is Kendall Wessenberg. Chasing after Katie Ulander, she slides through curve one. She had a 5-4-3 start time. 5-4-3 start for Kendall. She slides through cliffside. Kendall is second overall currently in the women's Team USA standing. Once again, this is the fourth and final team trial race before they name the team tomorrow. We've got six spots up for grab for the World Cup and Intercontinental Cup Tour. All these athletes are working towards the Olympic Games. Pyeongchang in South Korea, they named the Olympic team in January. Around January 16th, I think, is the deadline. Exiting 10 through 11. Kendall Wessenberg, a tenth off of Katie Ulander's pace as she slides 13, 14. Through the chicane, she's gaining a little on Katie as she heads into 17. She's actually might be gaining a lot. Let's see how she slings off of 18 in the 19. She's got a tenth to work with now as she crosses the finish up into first, 56, 3, 6. It's a 5, 6, 3, 6 downtime for Kendall Wessenberg. Now in first place, Savannah Graybill, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Savannah. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Savannah Graybill. She's going to be heading into curve one. Start time of 5.49. That's a 5.49 start time for Savannah. Currently looking to chase down Kendall Wessenberg, who now sits atop of the ladies' leaderboard with a 56-3-6 first run result for heat number one tonight. Savannah's off a three, into four. Sliding the Devil's Highway once again. Savannah Graybill half a tenth off of Kendall's pace. Through eight, nine, into curve ten. Shady two once again, if I mentioned before. Savannah's a former track record holder. Sliding through 12. Into 13, she's getting some speed here. She exits 14, let's see how much it helps her with. Oh, just minus zero two, a little bit of an edge as she heads into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. She might be a little off of Kendall's pace here as she crosses the finish into second place with a five, six, four, seven downtime. It's a five, six, four, seven downtime for Savannah Graybill, currently sitting second. Meg Henry, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Megan Henry. Slide and track, slide and track from start one. This is Meg Henry heading into curve one. She's got to start time of five to seven. Meg is one of our fastest starters for the ladies as she slides through cliffside. It's going to give her two tenths to work with. Let's see if she can use it to catch Kendall as she heads into curve four. Whiteface. Now sliding the Devil's Highway. Through seven, eight, nine. Into curve 10, Shady 2. A reminder to all spectators, please stay off the paved roads. We have a shuttle running. Wait for the shuttle through 12, 13, into 14. Meg Henry sliding the chicane. She's got a little bit of an edge here. She heads into 17. Let's see if she can keep it. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. She's a little off the pace. They're slowing up through 19 and crossing the finish. Fourth place. For Meg Henry, 56-6-5. That's a 5-6-6-5 downtime for Meg, currently sitting comfortably at four. Annie O'Shea, stand by.
Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Annie. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Annie O'Shea. She's heading into curve one with a start time of 5.30. Annie finished second last night. Heading into cliffside, Annie O'Shea. She's from New York, just down the road from Port Jefferson as she slides through three into curve four. Annie's got two tenths to work with. She slides Lake Placid extremely well. Sliding through eight, nine, into curve 10, Shady two. Through 11. In the 12, still got two tenths to work with Annie as she heads into 13 and 14. She's nice and clean as she slides through the chicane into 17. Little, little kick there, but she's all right. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, slowing up a little. Crossing the finish into first place. 56 2 6 downtime. Once again, that's a 5 6 2 6 downtime for Annie O'Shea. Now top of the leaderboard for the ladies tonight. We'll have Gracie Clap Taylor stand by. Attention! Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two star one for Gracie. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Gracie Clap Taylor heading into curve one. She's going to have a start time of 5 4 3. That's a 5 4 3 start time for Gracie. Everybody's now chasing Annie O'Shea. Really good first run down time of 56 2 6 to put her atop the leaderboard, followed by Kendall and Savannah. Currently, we got Gracie. She's two tenths off of Annie's pace right now. She slides the Devil's Highway through 5 6. Now through 7 8. Nine in the curve ten, shady two. Sliding eleven through twelve. Thirteen into fourteen. Gracie's just three tenths off the pace as she exits fourteen into the chicane. And now into seventeen. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Gracie is going to be crossing the finish up into fifth place with a 56, 5, 7 downtime. That's a 5, 6, 5, 7 downtime for Gracie Clap Taylor. Remember, Veronica Day, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Veronica Day. So let in track, sled in track from start one. This is Veronica Day of the USA. Once again, that rhyme sliding through curve one. She's got a start time of five, four, seven. That's a five, four, seven start time for Veronica Day. Cruising through cliffside into curve four, white face. It's a two minute warning to the opening of men's park for May. Once again, two minute warning for the men to resume sled work. Sliding through seven, eight, nine, three tenths off the pace. This is Veronica Day chasing down Annie O'Shea. Hey. That rhymes to sliding through 11, 12, 13, into 14, four tenths off the pace for Veronica. Currently sitting seventh overall. May maintain her place. We'll see through the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Veronica Day is going to be coming up, crossing the finish. Downtime of 56, 6, 7. That does keep her seventh. 56, 6, 7 downtime for Veronica Day. We're going to have Sam Colliver. Stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Sam Colliver.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Sam Culliver heading into curve one with a five, five, five start time. That's three fives. Not one, not two, but three. Five, five, five start time for Sam Culliver sliding through cliffside. Veronica Day before had a 56, six, seven. Chasing Annie O'Shea's Sam Culliver now. Four tenths off the pace as she slides through seven, eight. And nine, and into curve ten, shady two. Out of ten, into eleven, sliding through twelve, keeping it into thirteen and fourteen. Six tenths behind the pace as she slides the chicane into seventeen. Climbing up 18, going around 19, Sam Culliver crossing the finish. Currently sitting eighth with a 56.93 downtime. That's a 56.93 downtime for Sam Culliver. Kelly Delka, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Kelly Delka. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kelly Delka. Meanwhile, men's perk for May is now open. Have at it. It's a five-finger discount. No, that's not how it works. Sliding through curve one. Five, four, two, start time for Kelly Delka. Sliding cliffside. Once again, Kelly Delka. She's trying to join the pack, chasing Annie O'Shea. Annie laid down a really good first run down time of 56.26. Kelly Delka's two-tenths off the pace as so she slides the Devil's Highway. Out of seven, into eight, nine, and sliding curve ten, shady two. Kelly Delka is through eleven, and twelve, and thirteen, and fourteen. Sliding the chicane into seventeen. She's coming around 18, climbing up 19, 7 tenths off as she comes around 19 and crosses our Skelly finish. 56, 9, 9. That's a 5, 6, 9, 9 downtime for Kelly. Sitting ninth. Kelly Curtis, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Kelly Curtis. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kelly Curtis following Kelly Delka. Kelly Curtis sliding through cliffside. 5-4-3 was her start time. That's a 5-4-3 start for Kelly Curtis. Out of three. Heading into four. Now sliding through the Devil's Highway. Kelly Curtis. Before we had Kelly Delka with a 56-9-9. Through 8-9. It's Kelly Curtis. Out of 10. Into 11. Through 12, sliding 13 into curve 14, and into the chicane. I'd like to thank all the spectators for coming out tonight. And we got a live stream going too. We got lots of people watching as we slide 17 into 18 with Kelly Curtis. 18 got a good shave today. And crossing the finish, 57 5 5 downtime for Kelly Curtis. Currently sitting 10th overall. Morgan Tracy, stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Morgan Tracy.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Morgan Tracy sliding through curve one. She's going to have a start time of 5.81. That's a 5.81 start time for Morgan Tracy. Before her, we had Kelly Curtis with a 57.55 downtime. Currently for the ladies, as Morgan Tracy exits three into four, you have Annie O'Shea in first, followed by Kendall Wessenberg in second, and Savannah Graybill in third. This is the second to last heat for team trial races before Team USA names their skeleton team for the upcoming sliding season. Through curve 10, Shea 2 is Morgan Tracy. Through 11, and 12, and 13. And you guessed it, curve 14, out of the bend, into the chicane. Sliding 17, coming around 18 and 19. And Morgan Tracy is crossing the finish. 57, 3, 4, that's a 5, 7, 3, 4 downtime for Morgan Tracy. Leslie Stratton, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Leslie Stratton. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Leslie Stratton. She's currently heading into curve one with a 5-5-2 five, five, start time. It's a 5-5-2 five, five, start time for Leslie. Through cliffside. Now sliding through curve four, whiteface. Leslie Stratton, everybody, sliding the Devil's Highway. A little off the pace as so she slides through 7-8-9 into curve 10, shady two. Through 11 in the 12, sliding 13 in the 14, Leslie Stratton out of the bend, into the chicane, now sliding 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Leslie Stratton is going to be crossing the finish, downtime of 58-17. It's a 5 8 one, seven downtime for Leslie Stratton, keeping her 12th overall. Megan Dobell, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Megan Dobell. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Megan Novell. She's heading into curve one. She's got to start from a 5 4 2. Good start for Megan as she slides through curve one. Once again, that's a 5 4 2 start time for Megan Novell. She'll be two tenths off of Annie O'Shea's blazing pace of 56 2 6 for run number one. Megan Novell is through curve four into the Devil's Highway. Now sliding the highway through 8, 9, in the curve 10, shady 2, solid so far for Megan as she's sliding 10, and heading into 11. Through 12, 13, into 14, Megan Novell sliding the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Megan Novell is going to be coming around and crossing the skelly finish. Downtime of 57.67. That's a 5.767 downtime for Megan. Popping her up in the 12th overall. Michelle Tukin, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two start one for Michelle.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Michelle Tukin. 5-3-3 three, three start time for Michelle. It's a 5-3-3 three, three start for Michelle. Good start for her as she slides through cliffside. <laughs> Sliding the Devil's Highway, Michelle Tukin. Three tenths off the pace as she slides through seven, eight, nine in the curve ten, shady two. Now sliding eleven, twelve, thirteen in the fourteen. Through the chicane in the seventeen. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Michelle Tukin is going to be crossing the finish. Downtime of 57.65. That's a 5.765 downtime for Michelle Tukin. Pops her up in the 12th overall. We'll have Kristen Hurley standby. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Kristen Hurley. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kristen Hurley. She slides through curve one with a 5-4-0 start time. That's a 5-4-0 start for Kristen Hurley. We're going to take a two-minute break after Kristen, compile the results, and then we will send Israel for their first heat. Sliding into curve four, white face. This is Kristen Hurley. She's a final slider for the ladies. Once again, we will take a two-minute break, compile second-run results for the ladies, and then we will send Israel. Sliding through 8-9 into curve 10, shady two. Solid run so far for Miss Hurley. Currently, Annie O'Shea's in first, followed by Kendall and Savannah. Sliding through 12, 13 into 14, Kristen Hurley into the chicane. Sliding 17, climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Kristen Hurley is going to be crossing the finish. Downtime of 57, 3, 6. That's a 5, 7, 3, 6 downtime for Kristen Hurley. Two minutes to AJ. Two minute warning to AJ Edelman. So after run number one, Annie O'Shea, first place with a 56-2-6. Kendall Wessenberg with a 56-3-6. And Savannah Graybill with a 56-4-7. Fairly close at the top right now for the ladies. Going to be sending Israel. We have three sliders for Team Israel here doing a selection race. And then we will go for run number two. All righty, everybody. We are ready for AJ whenever he is. Once again, we are ready for AJ Edelman. Attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for AJ Edelman. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Adam A.J. Edelman. He's the first slider for Team Israel, Israel's men's skeleton team. They got three sliders here tonight doing their final selection race ahead of their upcoming tour options. Sliding through cliffside. He had a 5-1-8 start time. It's a 5-1-8 start time for A.J. as he slides through curve four white face. Israel slid here quite a bit, so they know what to do. Sliding the Devil's Highway through eight. Nine in the curve 10, Shady 2 after Israel. Short break before we head into the men's second heat. And then we'll have the ladies and Israel do one more run. Through 12, 13 into 14. 
Hey, Jay Edelman, setting the pace for Israel as he slides the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and A.J. Edelman is crossing the finish. 56-4-3. That's a 5-6-4-3 downtime for A.J., setting the pace for Larry and Joel. We're going to have Larry stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Larry. Slide and track, slide and track from start one. This is Larry Sidney. He's the second slider for Israel's Bend selection race tonight. He's currently chasing down A.J. Edelman, who set the pace for with a 56-4-3. That's a 5-6-4-3 downtime for A.J. Larry's well off the pace so far as he slides through curve four, white face. Through 8-9, into curve 10, J.D. 2. Through 11 in the 12, he's about 7 tenths off of AJ's pace as he heads through 14. Into the chicane, sliding 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Larry Sidney crossing the finish, 57-4-2. That's 5-7-4-2 downtime for Larry. Joel, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Joel Seligstein. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Joel Seligstein. This is Team Israel. He's the final slider for their first run as he slides through curve one. He's got a start time of 5-2-0. That's a 5-2-0 start time. He's currently chasing down AJ and Larry. AJ's in first with a 56-4-3, 57-4-2 for Larry. Joel is in the curve for Whiteface. Sliding through 8-9 in the curve 10, Shady 2. Joel Seligstein, he's a tenth off of AJ's pace for run number one. As he slides through 11-12. Slide the chicane into 17. Joel Seligstein is coming around 18, climbing up 19, still a tenth off of AJ's pace as he crosses the finish into second place with a 56-5-7. It's a 5-6-5-7 downtime for Joel. So after run number one, you have AJ in first with 56-4-3, 56-5-7 for Joel, and a 57-4-2 for Larry. That was Team Israel for run number one. We'll take a short break, and then we'll send our four runner sleds. And then we'll have the men again for Team USA. And then we'll have the ladies for Team USA. And Israel will do one more run for their final selection race. Thank you, everybody, who's come out so far. Once again, this is the fourth and final team trial race for Team USA men's and women's skeleton. After today, they will name the team for World Cup, Intercontinental Cup. And there will be some spots available for North American and European Cup tournaments. So stand by, everybody.
Alrighty, everybody, while we wait for run number two to begin, we will go over first run results. For the men, currently have John Daly sitting in first place for race number four with a 54-4-4 downtime, followed by Kyle Brown with a 54-6-6, and Matt Antoine with a 54-8-2. Subsequently after them, we'll have Greg West, Steve Garbett, Mike Rogels, Austin, Alex, Austin, Jake, Kyle, Mike, Max, Allen, Andrew, and Jimmy are currently in that order. It'll be reverse order for run number two, though. So first up will be Jimmy Nguyen after the four runners. So run number two start order will be Jimmy Nguyen, followed by Andrew, Allen, Max, Mike, Kyle, Jake, Austin, Alex, Austin Florian, Mike Rogels, Steve Garbett, Greg West, Matt Antoine, Kyle Brown, and currently number one overall, John Daly's. Once again, it is reverse by ranking for run number two for the ladies. Sitting in first right now, we have Annie O'Shea with a 56-2-6, followed by Kendall Wessenberg with a 56-3-6, and Savannah Graybill with a 56-4-7, just like the men, reverse by ranking. So first up for the ladies for round number two, it'll be Leslie Stratton, followed by Megan Dovell, Michelle, Kelly Curtis, Kristen Hurley, Morgan Tracy, Kelly Delka, Sam Culver, Veronica Bay, Meg Henry, Gracie, Katie, Savannah, Kendall, and number one overall for race number four tonight, Annie O'Shea. And one amendment for run number two. We're going to have Kyle Tress up first for the men for run number two after the four runners. Once again, Kyle Tress will actually be up first for the men after the four runners. Alrighty, everybody, we are getting ready to send our pilot sets for run number two. First up, we got Quasi. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two star one for Quaz. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Quasi from Pong. He's our first forerunner for run number two, He's heading into curve one. He's going to have a 4 eight, 8 start time. Another blazing start for Quasi. This is their third run tonight, the forerunners. A little tired, maybe. Not that bad. The Lugies will do like six to eight runs in a two hour session, and they love every minute of it. Sliding through the Devil's Highway, this is Quasi. He's our first forerunner for run number two. We'll probably have Chris and Dan, and then we'll have Kyle up first for the men. Kyle Tress sliding through curve 10. This is Quaz through 11, through 12, 13 into 14, sliding chicane. 
into 17. Quasi from Pong is climbing up 18. He's testing the track as a forerunner tonight. He'll be repping Ghana this year. Sliding across the finish with a 57-4-0 downtime. Another solid finish for Quaz. 57-4-0. Rep Chris, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Chris Strupp. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Chris Strupp heading into curve one. He's got a 4.83 start time, another fast start for Chris. Chris is a very fast starter. He's someone to watch going down the road. He's coming here, well, down the track. The road's for cars. Sliding through cliffside, Chris Strupp into curve four, white face. He's our second forerunner sled as he cruises into the Devil's Highway. After Chris, we'll have Dan, and then Kyle Tress will actually be starting us off for run number two tonight. Giving him a special second run tonight. We'll get to the details in a second. Sliding through 13 into 14, almost for Chris. Out of the bend, into the chicane. Sliding 17. Climbing up 18. And Chris Strupp crossing the finish. 58 1 6. That's a 5 8 1 6. Downtime for Chris Strupp. Dan Barefoot, stand by. All right, everybody, attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start, one for Dan. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Dan Barefoot. He's our final forerunner sled before we get into the men's second heat. Once again, Kyle Tress will be starting us off for run number two. We will not roll right into the second heat. We'd like to take a moment for Kyle. So just hang in there with me, folks, as he slides through three. This is Dan Barefoot, our final forerunner through curve four. Sliding through eight nine curve ten Dan Barefoot final four runner before we get into the last heat of tonight's team trial races for men's and women's team USA skeleton as well as Israel skeleton sliding through twelve thirteen into fourteen sliding the chicane Dan Barefoot heading into seventeen climbing up eighteen coming around nineteen. And crossing the finish, 57-2-7 down time for Dan Barefoot. Once again, that was our final forerunner sled. Up next here, starting us off for the men for run number two, this is Kyle Tress.
must say he I'm sure he'll still be around in some capacity in the sport but we're getting ready for the second and final run for the men's field with Jimmy Nguyen all righty everybody attention clear the track track is now clear from the finish to start one for Jimmy Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Jimmy Nguyen. He's our second competitive sled tonight for the men's second heat. He's got a 5-3-5 start time. That's a 5-3-5 start time for Jimmy. Kyle Tress started us off with an unofficial final run. We took it out of the order because we wanted to give Kyle a nice send-off tonight. 55-9-4 was Kyle's final competitive run for Team USA. Jimmy Nguyen, meanwhile, is trying to... Lay down a solid run here as he slides through 8-9. Into curve 10. Once again, everybody is chasing John Daly, currently first overall tonight. He had a 56, or I'm sorry, a 54-4-4 down time for John. I looked way too far down the list. John Daly, 54-4-4. Jimmy Nguyen is sliding through the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18. Coming around 19. And Jimmy... Is crossing the finish, 57-3-4. That's a 5-7-3-4 downtime. That keeps Jimmy in second place overall at the moment. Andrew Blazer, stand by. And during all that chaos and rivalry and fun, women's and Israel's Park for May was open. All right, everybody, attention. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Andrew Blazer. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Andrew Blazer sliding through curve one. 5.05 five start time for run number two. That's a good start for Andrew. Currently Kyle Tress is leading the pack. Blazer is sliding through the Devil's Highway. Everybody's chasing the top three of John Daly, Kyle Brown, and Matty Antoine tonight through 8.9 into curve 10. Andrew Blazer. He's about six tenths off of Kyle Tress's pace. Kyle Tress turned it on for that last run. Sliding through 11, 12. Ugh, words are hard. 13 into 14. Andrew Blazer into the chicane. High in the 17. Coming around 18 and 19. And Andrew Blazer is going to be crossing the skelly finish down time of 55.99 that pops him up in the second place with a combined result of 15257 Allen Blackwell stand by Tension clear the track track is now clear from the finish to start one for Allen Blackwell Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Alan Blackwell heading into curve one. That was a start time of 5 2 0. That was a 5 2 0 start time for Alan Blackwell as he heads through cliffside. Currently chasing after Kyle Tress. We gave him a big send off there. Anytime you give me an excuse to play Joe Esposito, I'm going to use it through curve four into the Devil's Highway. Alan Blackwell. Any, nobody knows who that guy is. It's just known from the music. Alan Blackwell, though, we know him well. Hey, that kind of works with his name. Through curve 10, Alan Blackwell, he's five tenths off the pace set by Kyle Tress for run number two as he slides through 11 12. 13 in the 14. Alan sliding the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. And Alan. Alan. Hey, crossing the finish. 5606. That pops Allen up in the second place overall with a combined result of 15231. Max Delance, stand by. Tension. 
Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Max. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Max Delance. He's heading into curve one. Start time of 5.09. It's a 5.09 start time for Max. I said in the right order this time, Max. Sometimes I get things mixed up. Not right now, though. Sliding through cliffside into curve four. White face, Max Delance, everybody. He's got three tenths off of Kyle's pace right now as he slides the Devil's Highway. Through eight, nine, into curve ten. Through 11, 12, 13, laid off a of 12. He's got it. Through 13, into 14, Max Delance. Sliding the chicane into 17, Kyle Tress. He's currently leading the pack right now for run number two. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Max Delance. It's going to be crossing the finish up into third overall with a 56-3-4 combined fourth race result of 152-5-5. Mike Brandt, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish to start one for Mike. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Mike Brandt heading into curve one. He's got a 5.09 start time. That's a 5.09 start time for Mike Brandt. Currently, Kyle Tress is leading the second run pack. Mike Brandt, though, is heading into curve four. White face. Sliding the Devil's Highway through six, seven. Through eight, nine. And now sliding curve 10, Shady 2. It's kind of spooky through there with the old shade still hanging in there in some spots. Like Smells like pumpkin spice is right. Through 12. Whoa, Mike. No pumpkin spice for you, though. Through 13, 14, into the chicane. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. Mike Brandt, jokes and jokes and jokes abound. Not for you, Mike, though. I keep them to myself. 56-3-0. Hey, that pops Mike up in the second with a combined result of 152-11. Jake Miter, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Jake Miter. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Jake Miter. He's got a 5-0-8 start time for Jake. Sliding through cliffside. Sliding through curve four, Jake, the snake miter. Hey, I don't know if he wants that nickname, but he's getting it tonight. Through eight, nine, into curve 10, Jake miter. He's pulling away three tenths to work with as he exits 10 into 11. Jake will probably go top here through 12. Still holding on to that three tenth lead for run number two as he exits 14 into the chicane. Tape everywhere when skeleton sliding. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Jake, he will be heading up into first place. 55-7-9 downtime for run number two, giving him a combined result of 1-51-2-6. We're going to have Austin McCrary stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Austin McCrary.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Austin McCrary. He's the eighth sled for tonight's second run for men's Team USA skeleton team trial race number four, if you caught all that. Sliding through cliffside, 5-1-2 start time for Austin McCrary. Exiting three, currently Jake Miter is sitting atop of the men's field with a combined result of 151-2-6. Austin McCrary, though, he's got two tenths to work with as he navigates the Devil's Highway through five, six, seven, into eight, nine, into curve ten, shady two. Does he got more time? He does. He's almost up to three tenths as he heads through ten, into eleven. Through 12, 13, into 14, Austin McCrary out of the bend, into the chicane. Still two and a half tenths. Once again, the Germans are recognizing that official time uh, statement by me, the two and a half, one and a half, out of 18, 19, whether they like it or not. But Austin McCrary, though, he's going to slide in the first place. Downtime of 55, 8, 6. It's a 5, 5, 8, 6 downtime for Austin McCrary, giving him a combined result of 1, 51, 0, 9. Alex Ivanov, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Alex. So add in track, slide in track from start one. This is Alex Ivanov currently chasing down Austin McCrary. Alex has a really good start time, a 4-9-3. That's a 4-9-3 start time for Alex. Alex is a solid starter for the men. Sliding through 2-3. Out of three, into four. He's got three tenths to work with as he heads into the Devil's Highway. Through five, six, sliding seven, eight, into nine, into curve ten. Alex Ivanov still working with two tenths or so here as he exits ten, into eleven. P pulling away a little as he slides thirteen, into fourteen, over three tenths to work with as he heads out of the bend into the chicane. And Alex is climbing up 18 and 19, and he will jump atop with a downtime of 55, 5, 7. Once again, 5, 5, 5, 7 downtime for Alex Ivanov. 1, 5, 0, 8, 0 combined second run downtime to put him atop of the leaderboard for run number two. We're going to have Austin Florian stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Austin Florian. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Austin Florian. He's heading into curve one, start time of 488. Another really good start out of Austin Florian. Will it translate into a solid run as he heads through cliffside, through two and three? Through curve four, white face. Through eight, nine, into curve ten, shady two. Through 11, 12, Austin Florian. He's got just under two tenths to work with as he slides through 13 and 14 into the chicane. Once again, Alex Ivanov is currently sitting atop of the men's leaderboard for run number two, but Austin Florian may overtake him as he climbs up 18, coming around 19, and it looks like he will. And he's coming up, crossing the finish. Downtime of 55, 3, 8. That's a 5, 5, 3, 8 downtime for Austin Florian, currently sitting in first place with a combined result of 1, 5, 0, 5, 7. Mike Ruggles, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Mike Rogles.
Sledding track, sledding track from start one. This is Mike Rogels heading into curve one. Five zero nine start time for Mike Rogel. Mike Rogels. I, I rogled his name through cliffside. Mike Rogels. Currently a tenth off of Austin Florian's second run pace. Through eight, nine, into curve 10, still a 10th off of Austin Florian as he heads into curve 10, but he might gain a little. If he's got a good exit here, he may overtake Mr. Florian. Not quite yet. Through 12, 13, into 14, Mike Rogels, almost neck and neck with Florian as he heads through 14 into the chicane, still very close as he slides in the 17. Through 18, climbing up 19, it's... Going to be close here. Mike Rogels is crossing the finish in the first place with a 55 5 5 second run downtime, overtaking Austin Florian for first place overall with a 1 5 0 5 4 combined result for race number four. Steve Garbett, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish to start one for Steve. Slide in track, slide in track from start one. This is Steve Garbett. 504 start time for Mr. Garbett as he slides through curve one. Currently looking to overtake Mike Rogels sitting atop the men's leaderboard for run number two. This is the final team trial race for the men and the women. And Israel, maybe me, sliding the Devil's Highway. It isn't. I'm, I'm here for the long haul. Through 8-9, in the curve 10, Shady 2. Steve Garbett, he's got a tenth to work with as he comes out of 10. Once again, a tenth of a second to work with as he slides 13 in the 14. Can he extend it a little as he heads into the chicane? He does. Almost two tenths to work with as he heads into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Steve Garbett is pulling away and crossing the Skelly finish in the first place with a 55 2 6 downtime. Currently sitting atop the men's leaderboard with a combined result of 1 5 0 2 2. Greg West, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Greg. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Greg West, everybody. Four, nine, five start time for Greg. That is a great start time for Greg as he slides through curve one. Now sliding cliffside, currently Steve Garbett is atop the men's leaderboard with a combined result of 15022. Greg West, meanwhile, he's got two tenths to work with as he heads into the Devil's Highway. It's a lot of time. Now he's got three tenths. Greg is sliding great this preseason as he slides through 8-9 into curve 10. Shady 2, he's pulling away even more. He'll probably have over four tenths to work with. He does as he slides through 12. 13 into 14, Greg West. Currently sliding the chicane in the 17. Still got four tenths to work with it as he slides 17. Greg is looking to jump into that top three of John, Kyle, and Matt. Climbing up 18, 19, and crossing the finish. 54, 9 1. That's a 5 4, 9 1 downtime for Greg West. Currently sitting in first place. Combined result of 149, 8 1. That's a 149, 8 1 down. Combined result for Greg West. Matt Antoine, standby. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Matt Antoine.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Matt Antoine currently sitting third place after run number one. He's looking to overtake Greg West over, though, for first place overall for run number two. 488 start time for Matt Antoine. That is pretty fast for Mr. Antoine. Sliding through three into curve four. He's got two tenths to work with. This is crazy how fast these guys are each run into the Devil's Highway. Through eight, nine, into curve 10, Shady two. Matt still got about a tenth and a half here as he slides through 10. Can he keep his lead over Greg here? Uh-oh, he's squirrely a little through 12. No, he cleaned it up. Still just under a tenth, though. He's losing some speed as he heads into 14 and into the chicane. It's coming down to the wire now as he slides through 17, climbing up 18, coming around 19. It's going to be very close here, everybody. And Matt Antoine is going to be sliding into first place. Second run down time of 54.98. That gives him a combined result of 14980. That's a 14980 second run combined result down time for Matt Antoine to overtake Greg West. Kyle Brown, stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Kyle Brown. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kyle Brown. He was in second place after run number one. Currently looking to overtake Matt Antoine, who just edged out Greg West for the first place standing for run number two. Kyle Brown, 490. They just keep getting faster each start here, everybody. Sliding through the Devil's Highway through five, six, seven. Now heading into eight and nine. Kyle Brown has just over a tenth to work with as he heads into curve 10, shady two. Once again, it will probably come down to the wire. Oh, slipped up a little on his exit of 10 through 12, 13, into 14. Let's see what he's got here as he heads into the chicane. Still has that 10th to work with as he heads into 17. Everybody slows up a little through here as he climbs up 18, coming around 19. And Kyle Brown is crossing the finish, 55-2-3. That puts him in the third place overall. Third place overall for Kyle Brown with a combined result of 149.89. That's 149.89. If you are not with the media or Team USA, you cannot be on that platform at the jib. Once again, you cannot be there if you are not with the media. No spectators down there. Hey, guys, at the jib crane on that platform, with the kid and the camera, you cannot be there. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for John Daly. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is John Daly heading into curve one with a 4.97 start time. John had a blazing run of 54.44 run, run number one, heading through cliffside. Currently looking to overtake Matt Antoine and Greg West. Matt Antoine is in first with a 14980 combined overall result. Greg West is in second with a 14981, followed by Kyle Brown. John Daly has got two tenths to work with. That first run down time is giving him a lot of time as he slides through 8-9 into curve 10. Still has two tens as he heads through 10. Let's see what his exit does here. A little late, but he's still got just under two tens through 12. 13 into 14. Through the chicane into 17. He's still got two tens here for John Daly as he comes out of 17. Climbs up 18. Coming around 19. And John Daly in the first place for tonight's race. That gives him a second run down time of 55-1-4. Another great run for John Daly. He is your number one overall men's leader for tonight. Combined result of 1-4-9-5-8. Once again, a combined result of 1-4-9-5-8 for John Daly. He's followed in second place by Matt Antoine with 1-4-9-8-0. And Greg West with a 1-4-9-8-1. We'll take a short break here print out the results and we'll get ready for the ladies first up for the ladies we'll have Leslie Stratton
So once again, after run number one, everybody, John Daly in first with a combined result of 149.58. Matty Antoine in second with a combined result of 149.80. And Greg West is in third with a combined result of 149.81. We are getting ready for the ladies' second heat. First up will be Leslie Stratton, followed by Megan Dovell. All right, everybody, here we go for run number two. First up for the ladies, we got Leslie Stratton. Attention, clear the track. Track is now cleared from the finish to start one for Leslie. Sled in track, sled in track from start one. This is Leslie Stratton. She is our first slider for the women's second heat. Currently heading into curve one with a 5-5-2 five, five, start time. Once again, Leslie Stratton is your first slider for the ladies' final run tonight for race number four. Sliding through cliffside. Currently, after one run, we got Annie O'Shea in first place, followed by Kendall Wessenberg and Savannah Graybill. Everybody's chasing Annie for run number two. We'll see how it goes. Leslie Stratton currently sliding through 8-9 into curve 10, Shady 2. Out of 10, into 11. Through 13, in the 14. Out of the chicane, in the 17. Leslie Stratton's climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Leslie is going to be crossing the finish. Downtime of 58.15, giving her a combined result of 15632 to set the pace for run number two. Megan Dovell, standby. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two star one for Megan.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Megan Doval currently chasing down her teammate Leslie Stratton, who set the pace for run number two with a 58.15 downtime. Combined result of 15632 for second run overall. 538 was a start for Megan Dovell. Good start for her as she slides out of three into four. One of her best starts this week as she heads into five. Now sliding the Devil's Highway through six and seven, sliding eight, nine. This is Megan Novell currently looking to overtake Leslie Stratton at the moment. Looks like she is. She's got five tenths to work with as she exits 10 into 11. That was one of her better exits of 10 as she slides 12, 13 into 14. Now sliding the chicade into 17. Megan Novell nearly six tenths to work with as she comes around 17, 18. Climbing up 19, and Megan Dovell is going to be crossing the finish line, overtaking Leslie with a downtime of 5.820, giving her a combined result of 155.87 overall. Michelle Tukin, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Michelle. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Michelle Tukin currently heading into curve one. She's going to have a start time of 5.35. That's a 5.35 start time for Michelle. Currently, Megan Novell has moved to top of the women's leaderboard with a second run result of 58-2-0, giving her a combined two-run result of 1-5-5-8-7. Michelle is heading into curve four, white face. She just had about a tenth to work with as she heads into the Devil's Highway right now. We'll see if she can maintain her lead. A little slate on the drive there through 8-9 into curve 10, shady two. She's now two-tenths off the pace set by Megan Novell. She exits 10 into 11. Recovers through 12, 13, in the 14. Michelle Tukin is now sliding the chicane. Falling behind a little. Six tenths off the pace as she slides in the 17. Climbing up 18. Coming around 19. And Michelle is going to be crossing the finish. Downtime of 59.00. That has her third overall with a combined result of 1.5665. We're going to have Kelly Curtis stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Kelly Curtis. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kelly Curtis. Usually has good starts here. She heads into curve one. She's going to start time of 5-4-2. That's a 5-4-2 start time for Kelly Currently, we're looking to overtake Megan Dovell. She slides through cliffside, sliding through two and three. Kelly Curtis now sliding into curve four, Whiteface. Sliding the Devil's Highway. She's got just over a tenth to work with as she exits six and seven and slides through eight, nine, into curve ten, Shady Two. Out of 10, falling behind a little, a little squirrely out of 10 as she slides through 11, 12, 13, into 14. Sliding the chicane into 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19, and Kelly Curtis, will she pull ahead here? It's very close, crossing the finish into first place with a 58-1-6 second run downtime, giving her a combined result of 1-5-5-7-1. Once again, Kelly Curtis now atop the women's leaderboard with a combined result of 15571. We're going to have Kristen Hurley standby. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Kristen. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kristen Hurley. 
She had a 5-4-3 start time. That's a 5-4-3 start time for Kristen Hurley. Exiting three. Heading into curve four. Currently, Kelly Curtis is atop the ladies' leaderboard. Combined result of 155.71. Kristen Hurley is sliding through 8-9 into curve 10. Shady two. Through 12, 13. She has six tenths to work with as she slides through 14 into the chicane. Sliding 17, climbing up 18, coming around 19. This is one of Kristen's better runs this week as she slides across the finish in the first place overall with a 58.06 second run downtime, giving her a combined result of 155.42. It's a 155 combined result. Morgan Tracy, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Morgan. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Morgan Tracy. She's heading into curve one, start time of 5.76. It's a 5.76 start time for Morgan Tracy as she exits curve one into cliffside. Currently looking to overtake Kristen Hurley. Kristen Hurley is now first place overall with two run combined result of 155 for two, for two numbers, words. They all start to blend together for me after a while. <laughs> Through 7.89, Morgan Tracy. Into 10. Through 11, into 12, sliding 13. Wee, a little yeehaw there through 14. Morgan Tracy, she might gain a little here. She's got some good speed as she heads into 17, climbing up 18, coming around 19. She's pulling ahead here. She really cleaned it up there through the chicane and crossing the finish. First place overall now with a 57.52 second run downtime. That gives her a two-run result of 15486. Kelly Delka, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track's now clear from the finish. Two, start one for Kelly Delka. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kelly Delka heading into curve one. She's got a start time of 537. It's a 537 start time for Kelly Delka. Sliding through cliffside. Once again, Morgan Tracy is currently atop the leaderboard with a 5752 second run result. A little tap there for Kelly Delka. She heads into four. Currently has almost a full second to work with. Kelly's a solid starter. She slides through 8, 9, in the curve 10. Once again, this is Kelly Delka. She slides through 12 out of Texas, sliding 13 in the 14. She got 8 tenths to work with. Really good start for her there. Is giving her a bit of an advantage as she slides through the chicane, tapping it around into 17. And it'll cost her a little bit. I don't know if it'll cost her a lot, though. She slides through 18. Coming up 19, let's see what she's got, and she crosses a finish. She holds on to take the top spot for the time being. 57.66 second run downtime, 154.65 is her combined result. Sam Culliver, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Sam Culliver. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Sam Culliver. She's heading into curve one. Start time of five, five, three. That's a five, five, three start time for Sam. 
Sliding through coast side. I had to take a deep breath there. Sorry. Sam Culver currently two tenths off the pace set by Kelly Delka for run number two, sliding into the Devil's Highway. Now three tenths off the pace. Kelly Delka had a great second run to overtake the top spot for run number two for the ladies' final race tonight. Meanwhile, Sam Culver is heading in the 10. Let's see if she can sling out a 10 and get some time back here. Not at the moment. Still three tenths back through 12. Into 13, sliding 14. Into the chicane, still three tenths back as she exits the chicane in the 17. She's got a little speed in the 17. Let's see what she does through 18 here. Climbing up 19, and Sam did enough there at the end to overtake Kelly Delka. 57-5-4, second run result, 1-5-4-4-7 combined result. Sam Culver jumping up in the first place. Veronica Day, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Veronica Day. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Veronica Day of the USA. That rhymes. Exiting one. She's got a 5-4-6 start time. 5-4-6 start time for Veronica Day. Currently looking to overtake Sam Culliver. Sam had a really great last set of curves there to overtake Kelly Delka. Through the Devil's Highway, Veronica Day of the USA. Sliding through eight, nine, in the curve ten, shady two. Through eleven, in the twelve, sliding thirteen, in the fourteen, into the chicane, Veronica Day currently has six tenths to work with, pulling away at the moment as she slides through seventeen, climbing up eighteen, coming around nineteen, and Veronica. Looks like she'll maintain her lead here. She heads across the finish in the first place. 57-2-6, second run down time. Now first overall with a combined second run result, or two run result, 153-9-3. We'll have Meg Henry stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Meg Henry. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Meg Henry. Heading into curve one, she's got a 5-2-7 start time. Another great start for Meg. She really is a great starter for us this year and years before. But sliding through cliffside, Meg Henry currently got three tenths to work with. She's looking to overtake Veronica Day of the USA. Sliding into the Devil's Highway, Meg and Henry through six and seven. Sliding eight, nine, into curve ten, Shady two. Still has over two tenths to work with here. She exits ten. Clean exit will help her out. Still maintaining those two tenths. Through 13, 14, losing a little speed here. She slides the chicane. Now just over a tenth to work with as she slides through 17. Climbing up 18, coming around 19. It's going to be close here, folks. Not high enough. She may not be able to overtake her. And Meg slides in the second with a 57-3-0. What gives Meg and Henry a combined result of 15395. Currently, currently placing her just behind Veronica Day. Gracie Clapp, Taylor, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Gracie Clapp Taylor.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Gracie Clap Taylor sliding through one. She's got a 5.39 start time. Good start for Gracie as she heads into cliffside. Once again, Veronica Day is currently sitting atop the ladies' leaderboard with a combined result of 1.5393, followed closely behind by Meg Henry with a 1.5395. Currently, Gracie is sliding the Devil's Highway. She's got a tenth to work with as she exits seven into eight, nine. Let's see what else she's got as she heads into ten. Still a tenth. Lost a little speed through the highway there. Exiting 10 into 11. Still got that 10th. She's clean through here, which she is. She's going to pull away a little here. She heads in the 14. Now up to two tenths. Really great 12, 13, 14 exchange. She slides through 17. Climbs up 18. Comes around 19. And Gracie Clap Taylor. Let's see if she pulls away. Crosses a finish. Now up in the first place, Gracie Clap Taylor, 57-1-7, second run downtime, 1-5-3-7-4 combined overall. Gracie's currently top of the leaderboard for the ladies. Katie Ulander, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Katie. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Katie Ulander. She's heading into curve one. She's going to have a start time of 5-3-6. Katie U is one of our most experienced sliders, men or women tonight. Over three-time Olympian sliding through cliffside. Once again, Katie's looking to overtake Gracie. Gracie had a pretty good second run, so Katie's going to have to do her thing here, sliding the Devil's Highway. At the moment, she is sliding through 8-9 into curve 10, shady 2. Yeah, she's doing it through curve 10. She's going to have probably close to four tenths to work with. Nope, sitting at three tenths right now out of 12. Sliding 13 in the 14, a little shaky through 12. Still only two tenths as she slides through the chicane in the 17. That 12 might not have done her in, may have. We'll see as she climbs up 18, coming around 19. Doesn't look like it did because Katie Ulander is going to be sliding into first place with a 56.95 second run down time. 1.5350 is her combined result for tonight. Once again, KU is currently top of the leaderboard. Savannah Graybill, stand by. Tension, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Savannah. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Savannah Graybill. She's going to be heading into curve one. Start time of five, four, eight. Good start for Savannah. She heads through curve one. Sliding through cliffside, Savannah Graybill. Currently heading into curve four. She's looking to overtake Katie Ulander. Katie Ulander had a very good second run. Savannah's, she's about a tenth off of Katie's pace as she slides the Devil's Highway. Savannah's got a lot of runs here in Lake Placid. She slides Lake Placid very well as she heads into curve 10, Shady 2. She's still got that tenth and a half off of Katie's pace. She heads into the labyrinth. She's got to have to clean it up here. If she wants to overtake Katie, currently sliding through 13 into 14. She's pulling away here as she heads into the bend. She's under a tenth now off of Katie's pace. Let's see what she does in the 17. Oh, she is closing the gap, climbing up 18, coming around 19. It's going to be very close here as Savannah comes up and crosses the finish in the first place. 56.99 second run down time. Gets her an edge over Katie for a combined result of 1.5346 for Savannah Graybill. All right, Kendall Wessenberg, stand by. Attention, clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Kendall Wessenberg.
Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Kendall Wessenberg. She's heading into curve one. She's going to have a start time of five, three, six. Another great start for Kendall. She slides through curve one, currently looking to overtake fellow teammate Savannah Graybill sliding through cliffside. Savannah had a really great second half there to overtake Cooley, uh, Katie Ulander. I, I was mixing up first and last names there. Oh, boy. Once again, Savannah Graybill is currently top of the leaderboard, but Kendall Wessenberg is blazing through 8-9. She's got three tenths to work with as she heads into curve 10, shady 2. Little shaky exit of 10 for Kendall. Let's see what she does through 12. Little high there. She's still got four tenths. She's got a lot of speed as she heads out of 14 into the chicane. One of the fastest speeds of the ladies tonight as she heads into 17 and nearly 70 miles an hour. She heads up 18, climbs up 19, and it looks like Kendall Wessenberg is going to be coming across the finish line and going back up into first place. Downtime of 56.68. That's a 1.5304 combined result for Kendall. Overtaking Savannah. We're going to have Annie O'Shea. Stand by. Tension. Clear the track. Track is now clear from the finish to start one for Annie O'Shea. Sled and track, sled and track from start one. This is Annie O'Shea. She's your first run leader. Looking to overtake Kendall Westenberg as she slides into curve one with a 5-2-9 start time. Great start for Annie. Setting her off really good as she slides through cliffside out of three. She'll have two tenths to work with as she heads into curve four whiteface. Now sliding the Devil's Highway once again. She's trying to overtake Kendall Westenberg, currently sitting atop the leaderboard. Kendall won both races in Calgary. Annie is trying to overtake her. She slides in the 10, still over a 10th to work with. Let's see how she does through the labyrinth. This is make or break, and in a lot of athletes tonight, she's through 12 in the 13. Good 12 as she heads in the 14. If she has a good exit here, she may overtake Kendall. Now got almost two tenths to work with as she heads in the 17, and she's climbing up 18. Coming around 19, she is pulling away everybody as she comes around 19 and crosses the finish in the first place tonight. You got a winner in Annie O'Shea, 56-5-0 for Miss O'Shea, giving her a combined result of 152.76. A really great performance by all the ladies tonight, but Annie O'Shea is number one overall tonight. Combined result of 152.76 for Annie, followed by Kendall Westenberg in second with a 153.04, and Savannah Graybill in third with a 153.46. It's going to be two minutes, two minutes to Israel. Once again, two-minute warning to Larry Sidney. All righty, we are ready for Lawrence. Tension, clear the track. Track 